everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is kitty as you can tell by the title i was inspired to do this video because i am as you guys know i'm a huge fan of birds and i've been watching like her old old original channel which is called just bird martinez and she talks about a lot of um important subjects that a lot of people don't really talk about or are afraid to talk about but i've been watching since like the very first video and um she did a video about uh, like Mexicans and beliefs and like taboos or something. I don't know what it was called. I'll link it in the bottom But it inspired me to do one for my tribe and if you guys don't know I'm Apache and I am from Arizona I'm born and raised in Arizona um, And we do have some taboo superstition type stuff that uh, we were told you know as little kids and so um, and I did reach out on my Facebook and ask and I got some good feedback so let's get into it the first one is don't whistle at night because if you do you're calling the devil or like evil spirits so uh, when, ever since we we're told you know or someone would whistle at night they'd be like shh don't do that you know like because it's a bad it's a bad thing no clipping your fingernails toenails or cutting your hair at nighttime i don't know why i'm but i'm pretty sure it has to do with something about like witching or like witchcraft so yeah we never cut our hair or we never clip our nails or nothing like that at night and our culture women do not hunt um but now a lot of women do like i see a lot of women on social media hunting but uh, traditionally, uh, women aren't supposed to hunt, and I believe it's like, I don't know if it's like that in all um, Native American cultures, but I do know in the Navajo culture, it's the same way, but in our culture, women do not hunt. I have never gone hunting. Um, it was just something that we were told ever since we were little, women aren't supposed to hunt. One thing that um, I've never done, but I know people who have done this, and it's like when a child has... A loose tooth get the tooth and then they throw it back toward the Sun and they say it's supposed to give you straight teeth I've never done it but people that I do know that that did do it they have straight teeth <laughs> so it must work these when babies or little kids toddlers bend over and then they like they like they look between their legs you know they say that they're looking for the baby brother or the baby sister or a, a new cousin or something. So usually when natives, I know this is a um, universal native thing that when babies look between their legs, then everyone's like, oh shit, you know, like a lot of them are like, nah. they, they point fingers and stuff and they're like, that's not me, no, it's you, it's probably you. So uh, yeah, that's like, a, someone's gonna have a baby, someone's pregnant. One thing that I've always heard growing up is don't cook when you're angry. Um, my grandma and my mom always told me, you know, if you're angry, don't cook because your food's not going to taste good um, or it's going to turn out all, all cheap. So they always say, you know, if you're pissed off or if you're feeling some type of way not to cook because you're going to take it out on your food, basically. So another thing that I was always told when I was small was never to eat when you're laying down. Um, a couple times, like, I'll be laying down, like, eating candy or popcorn or, I don't know, something. I don't remember what. But uh, uh, my mom would, like, get up to me and she'd be like, get up, sit up. And um, only dead people eat laying down. Only dead people eat like that. So ever since then, I don't, I don't do that. Wake up before the sun. Don't let the sun step over you is what they say. A lot of um, elders that are older than me, even... People the same age as me, they um, wake up before the sunrise, and this is something that we're taught when we're little. And if you don't wake up before sunrise, it's kind of saying like you let the sun beat you, and it's um, you're lazy, you sleep in, you know, you should be up, you should be, you know, making the most of your day, this and that. A bad omen in our culture would be owls. They say when you see owls or you hear owl like talking to you, that someone in your family is gonna pass. So usually it's a bad thing. Like, uh, okay, for instance, one time we were living in Louisiana with my brother-in-law and my sister, and we were coming back late at night, and uh, we seen this 
big owl like in the middle of the road just like waiting there basically and it flew up and then uh, my brother-in-law at the time who was raised traditionally was like you know like kind of spooked down and we went home and um we fell asleep and like early that morning i would say like around three or something uh he got a phone call and said that his very close cousin passed away don't take a shower or play around when it's raining ever since i can remember once it starts thundering or raining my grandma would be like sit down be quiet sit there <laughs> no like don't that was just the thing we don't play or run around or you know do nothing when it's raining we just sit there and take it all in i guess Another thing I could remember growing up is uh, that we were taught not to mock like handicapped or like crippled people. Um, for instance, if I go to Goodwill and I see a wheelchair and I sit in there and I just like start rolling myself around, my mom would like boom spank me and be like, don't play with that. You're not supposed to play with that or you're going to end up like that is what they would say. So. Uh, that's a big no-no playing with like crutches or someone's brace or a wheelchair or things like that is because they say if you play with it or make fun of it that you're gonna end up like that so they always say when your ears ring someone's talking about you like talking some shit about you <laughs> so that's one thing they say when your ears ring another thing is that when you sneeze they say someone's thinking about you Growing up, like when we're in junior high and stuff, and we would sneeze, like our friends would be like, patchy pager, <laughs> like someone's thinking about them, you know? Babies aren't supposed to look at themselves in the mirror. And I remember when my first son was born, he was like not even a month, and there I was, you know, like taking selfies, and you know, you could look at yourself, you know, in a reflection, and he was looking at himself, and he was just like really in awe. And my grandma saw me, and she's like, don't do that, and I said, I just looked at her like, why? And she said, babies aren't supposed to look at themselves in the mirror. Um, and that was all she said. You know, they're not supposed to see, like, their reflection because they're too pure still. They're too innocent in that way. So <laughs> one of my friends on Facebook brought up um, this little thing. It's like when you're making tortillas or fry bread and you like, you know how they, you flop the dough and stuff and then you put it in the grease or whatever. And if it has a hole in there, they say like, if there's one hole or two holes, three holes, that means like you have that many boyfriends or something. Or like, it's just a stupid little thing. One of my friends said that you're not supposed to let toddlers look out at nighttime. And I was like, why? And she's like, because they see ghosts and shit. <laughs> so I just started laughing, but... That is true though, like kids are more sensitive than we are and they're more prone to seeing like paranormal stuff. So like, I never heard that one, but it makes sense. And then another one is don't touch hair. Um, we're told, you know, not to let nobody touch our hair because of uh, like jealousy or like our head, our hair is attached to our head, which is attached to our mind and it's the crown of our, you know, body. And so like they, always taught us not to let anybody touch our hair um, or cut our hair or bother our hair. Usually, um, if I do cut my hair, it's usually, usually like my, it was usually my mom or my sister or my dad, um, but that's about it. I never let nobody touch my hair. Um, and if we, yeah, if we do get our hair cut, we save our hair and we don't let nobody bother our hair because um, there is a such thing as like, witching or witchcraft there's plenty more these are just what i could think of and i did ask on facebook and i just got you know a few responses but other than that if i think of more i might do another part i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys have any similar um taboos or superstitions in your culture i know not all natives believe the same thing but i do know there are a few things that are universal like the baby thing or like the owl thing so let me know and if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and feel free to share my videos um and a quick thing i wanted to do was announce that we did hit 1k subscribers so i am happy to announce that we will be doing a giveaway soon so keep tuned for that 
We'll see you in the next one.